factory is one of the very important angular js element this is where our actually business logic we have to write the main important thing is also this is very reusable that means not only in one component but in various component we can access it usually in that uh, in a more you know very simple manner view as we know is interact with the controller right and for any uh, interaction with the server or any model or getting any functionality done controller as we remember we want to keep it very slim so it do not perform any business logic operation so it rely on the factory or a different reusable model for getting the things done then factory then responsible to talk to server via any uh, rest call or any uh, uh, ajax call so it also it interact with all other uh, different component and it it uh, create the data model what controller usually accesses and pass it to view for the display purpose or any kind of uh, rendering purpose to the user and this particular factory is no need to be associated with only one controller so it can be referred by any number of controller okay and also it can be used as a dependency to any other factory services so that they can utilize its uh, functionality for any of its purposes and one important thing to note over here angular js whenever you know it create a factory so it will always create a only one instance of it so if you store any data or we have access to any model so any data we have changed by this controller so it would be available to the controller to or any other factory that means only one instance will be created and the said across different component so this concept is known as singleton okay and there is one more important concept to uh, understood even though we add this uh, you know factory uh, into our you know as a script tag or we added into any controller uh, we can add it but till it is not used okay then this factory won't get initialized so it will be only initialized whenever a component explicitly need it or added as a dependency and that got initialized so this concept is known as lazy initialization or instantiation okay so this is two important thing to remember it has always have the singleton or the single instance so all will be shared into the same model property any data we change it will be available to all and don't no need to worry in terms of performance wise so it will be only instantiated or the instance the single even the single instance will be created only when it is going to be needed and it, it is not uh, used for directly interact with the view so any kind of view rendering or getting the ids or dom manipulation you should not do any factory this should be independent component which will really deals with the data and giving the functionality to the controller and uh, and this should not be used in for any configuration uh, stages we will discuss more on those aspect but it should not use for any fetching any configuration parameter during the application bootstrap process okay now let us start with a very simple example and we'll try to illustrate how this factory can be used in a controller and how the data can data and functionality can be said and passed to the view let's say we have our data model of product and we have name of the product and mrp the brand name and the discount and let's say we have a function known as calculate discount and if someone pass a rate like 10% 20% then this function will you know multiply uh, mrp into the rate 10% divided by 100 so it will get that discount so this let's say this is the discount okay let's say in the view we want to display the product name and also we want to display the mrp and here we will allow somebody to enter the rate let's say they enter the rate as 10 so this discount should be automatically calculated 
and our display here once we click the button. So the functionality of this calculate uh, discount we can write here. You know any functionality anything even though there is available in the factory so this view cannot directly access it. So we have to write a proxy method so here as well. So let's say calculate discount. So whenever we click this uh, button so it will go here and pass this red 10 and calculate the discount and we can bind this variable. So all this variable like name, MRP and rate discount we have to mirror those in controller as well. Because even though it is available here view cannot directly access. So let's say brand name we do not need so we no need to uh, make available in the controller only the view whichever needed by view we have to use this name MRP and the discount and rate is may not be needed in this factory so here we have to create a variable so once we click a uh, calculate discount method so this will in turn will call this calculate discount from the factory and get the functionality done so how to calculate is only known by this particular service not the controller itself before you jump to the example let me tell you one of the very important uh, concept about factory so this factory needs to return an object which can be accessed in the controller and we can inject this factory using the dependency injection or we add as a dependency so this object which uh, this factory will return usually we store these two things one is the product the data another one is you know this uh, uh, function is calculate discount so there are two property we can assign and inside that we can put this data model and the functionality and that we have to uh, return using a object so remember if you define a function we, we have to return the object we can return any string or function only on the data but in most of the cases if you see you have to return the object and object may contain the data what do you want to manipulate or play, play around also the functionality what do you expose in the factory and always remember we are not we da don't directly expose those things to the view we have to only expose to the controller or to different you know factory or different kind of services let's start with an example and today we'll demonstrate the factory and as usual in the setting i have added this angular j so i no need to add it again as a dependency so I'll start writing the code in the JavaScript. It will be available into the HTML. So the first step I will do, I'll just defend our application module. And at this stage, we do not need any dependency. And the first step we'll do, we'll create the factory method and we'll give the name as product. And we define an anonymous function for, for it. And there is no need to pass a, you know, any dependency. So I, I, I kept that empty. And uh, for for view uh, interaction, we, we know that we cannot directly access this factory from the view. So we need to define a controller. Controller, uh, let's say product controller. And even though they are located in the same file, we have to add that product factory as a dependency to our controller. So we use the array notation and we pass that product as a you know uh, dependence injection or as a module as a dependent to the controller so in the factory we have to uh, return a uh, object so let's create a object okay so then return this object and this object can contain two things one is the data model and the functionality or functionality or actually the business logic processing let's first initialize some uh, data over here okay now product or data it can be another object doesn't matter we'll give coca cola one liter So I define a simple data structure here and let me create a function also 
function to calculate the discount okay and i will directly associate with here uh, calculate discount and i define a function and this will take a parameter as rate okay product dot data and discount i will assign directly product dot data dot mrp product dot data rate divisible by 100 return product that is the most complex business logic i can think of at this moment <laughs> So we have written to calculate the discount and I am returning that. So it contains the data and it contains the functionality. And to expose to the view, we have to you know mirror those variables. Even though you feel it is a duplicate, we have to do because we want to, we don't want to expose everything. So the first thing we have to assign this controller to a cell variable. Then we can do cell dot product name and here we'll try to get product dot data dot name then self mrp we want to display let's say product dot data dot mrp we don't care about brand name so we leave it and here also even though we define the calculate discount functions somewhere in the factory here we have to give some name which can be accessible to the view calculate discount this can be same name or it can be different okay so let's say it also take the rate okay and self dot discount is equal to product dot calculate discount i am calling from this factory and passing this rate and it retains the same discount value and i am saving in my another variable so here also I will assign this product dot data dot discount. Initially it was initialized to zero. We can use some other variable name. Also the uh, for us the rate would be the local variable or the local model. Okay, let's define this. It is best practice to keep all the variable declared, even though they are not needed. Local variable which are not mirror cell dot rate and we initialize to zero. Okay, so this is not available in the factory. So this is local to this controller. So we again to just uh, you know repeat it. So we define a uh, application module, and we created a factory with name product, and it should return an array. So initially we declared an empty array, and here we remember to return it. And here we create a data model name, brand, MRP, discount, and here we define a function calculate discount. It uh, calculate the you know rate. It take the rate parameter which is not a model property it expect as the input and calculate the discount and return it and in the product controller remember we have added as a dependency so even though they are located in the same file we have to give the name whatever we choose in our factory name here and we pass this as a product and this will access all the property product dot data dot name so here we mirror those property and we store into the uh, controller local scope or local variables here if you see brand name we don't want to expose to the view so we not added here here the rate is the local variable which is not in the factory but we need for our you know our uh, local purposes we want to pass around and this is the calculate discount even these two method name may same or may not be same but this is needs to be available in the controller so that it would be exposed to the view and here it doesn't do any kind of calculation even though that is complicated or simple it doesn't matter so we are calling this product and calculate discount you will see if you see it will be a lots of code why i directly do it but once your application grow into a significant size it will be a nightmare to manage and this is can be independently should be moved to into different file and can be independently tested and controller can be tested using a mock you know but that testing uh, strategy will come later but this has more advantages than its disadvantages now come up we write some views for us okay now the first thing what we have to do uh, ng up we have to give up here uh, let's a little bit slow down our big javascript code okay now i'll define some division 
then we have to give the ng controller no need to give any factory reference here here our controller name is product controller and we will always use uh, you know as uh, syntax which is the recommended and the best practice state to do anyway okay so i'll try to quickly write some you know simple uh, html code and come back yeah so here i just written very simple thing product name is uh, product name so from uh, let's say here i give p p dot product name and p dot mrp and brand name i just want to so see if you notice here this brand is not you know exposed via uh, our controller if you see there is no brand okay but i try to use it just to show that we can't access it because we, this brand is available inside our factory and here we created ng model p dot rate and once we click this discount button it should calculate okay now let's see that example here see here product we got from coca cola mrp 250 whatever in the factory we given we can able to access here but if you notice here there is no brand is coming it's because that we not expose it and here let's say give percentage 10 and click discount this seems to be not working uh, let's see quickly the calculate uh, discount and the method name is oh here i missed this l okay this calculate discount i think it should work now 10 and uh, yeah now 25 so just to summarize it uh, again here if you see that here i given the application name and ng controller the controller name not the factory name okay and this is for display purpose i am displaying product name mrp but this brand name won't get display because there is no mirror of the in the view this is property is only available in the factory and this p rate i define a local variable which is available inside controller so whichever we data enter in this 10 15 so it will be stored over here and whenever we click discount so this p is the name of this controller okay the instance of it then we call the calculate discount and it will pass this rate okay and it will calculate the discount and here we uh, display this discount again so we can see 25 percent so if you want to calculate 15 percent so it will say 37.5 okay thank you very much for watching this video you can find the notes and the link to course snippet below please say hi over an email i will definitely reply you if i am not sick or in vacation you can like and also subscribe to this button you'll get an update as soon as i post a new video if you want to help me please spread this word maybe somebody find this video through you thanks very much again and have a great day